Hello YouTube, uh, Devin here again, and uh, today we're going to do a video that I, I really haven't seen anything else like on YouTube, and um, I'd very much like to know how you guys, uh, what you guys think of this video, because if you like it, I'll, I'll do more. So if I get enough views on it, and enough likes, and enough comments, I'll, I'll do another one, because I've got quite a few of these matchups actually, and um, if you haven't noticed, uh, these are both Russian helmets, and um, they're both actually made in Russia, well... Technically, what was Russia at that time? So one today would be made in modern-day Finland, the one on the left. Uh, but these were these are technically both made in Russia at the time when they were conceived. So this is actually Russia's first domestically produced helmet and Russia's newest domestically produced helmet as of 2017. So I figured it'd be nice to do a comparison with a hundred years of history, pretty much. So. The first helmet here on the left is the Solberg, if you didn't notice. It does have the cover. I do have both of these fully decked out uh, as how they probably would have been worn on the on the battlefield. So, um, we'll go over some of the, uh, some of the differences. We'll compare them all from alike angles and everything like that and see, see how far uh, Russian helmets have come along in 100 years from 1916 uh, to, to, to now, pretty much. So, a little over 100 years. So, um... One on the left is the uh, Solberg, made in the Duchy of Finland, and uh, this is the 6B47, made in the, made in the Nice Ali factory of uh, uh, the outskirts of Moscow. So, yeah, so these helmets come from Russia, and uh, we're, we'll we'll take a look at them now. So, um, obviously, you can see that the one on the left is a lot is a lot smaller. Um, they're actually pretty close to the same height. Um, they're all pretty much the green. Uh, Russians really like their green in their camouflage patterns, so this would technically be considered khaki, uh, khaki olive, as uh, it was known in World War One. And uh, this is Russian digital flora. So the Russians had used khaki olive from uh, 1904 uh, is when they started using it. It wasn't mass first massly issued until World War One though, uh, and this came out in 2008. Digital flora did so. Uh, you can see there's lots of variations of digital flora as the goggle cover is a slightly different coloration uh, that's not uncommon to find. So I'll push the 6B47 back and we'll we'll take a good good once over as this. Here's here it is from the side. Um, push this in so you can see kind of the general shape here. So there you go. As you can see, it's kind of an Adrian style helm instead of having a big comb though. It has this little kind of dome at the top. So you've uh, I have a video of one without the cover if you want to see the, the shape closer up. Um, in the back here, on the left side. Uh, this one has an officer's chin strap, a privately purchased officer's chin strap on it. Um, and here's the inside, pretty much brand new. This helmet is brand new. So uh, this is the finished liner though. The Russian liner would have looked much different. So, but we'll, we'll still take a look at it anyways, just to see how it's come along. Now we'll... Put it up here and we'll take a look at the uh, 6B47 now. So, here's it from the right side of the helmet. You can see the rail there with the uh, Russian Streamlight copy on it. Rear of the helmet with its routing chambers. Right side with the goggles on it. So, and uh, the back at the front where the night vision mount is. So, and here's the inside of that helmet. So, this is a hundred years after the Solberg. So, quite quite a long ways in a hundred years. It's amazing how how fast technology seems to grow. So, now we'll compare compare the insides to each other here. So you can take a look at how far history has come in a hundred years. There's there's a world of difference in there, isn't it? So, um, I'm not covering a lot of information on these because obviously the one on the left is going to be far inferior to the one on the right. So, Solberg's going to be way worse tactically than the 6B47 so it'd be kind of wrong to compare these two uh, as far as technical aspects goes so um, these both have their own videos if you'd like to learn the stuff that's on them so um, yeah but these are these are probably some of my favorite helmets in my collection I love I love Russian helmets so both of these are brand new by the way so hopefully you guys 
hopefully you guys like stuff like this, seeing some comparisons to see how far technology has really, really come in 100 years. Because to me, I was just taking a look at these the other day, and it, it has amazed me how far. Because as far as the span of human history goes, this is very, very small. Modern combat helmet conception was around when this came out. And in just a very, very short blink of time, as far as the perception of man goes, we're already at this. I'm anxious to see in my lifetime where everything goes. So, hopefully you guys like this video, and uh, you leave a comment if you're interested in seeing stuff like this, or if you want uh, to kind of tweak the format of these series of videos, if you want to get some more information in the next one or anything like that. Um, I'll probably do French ones the next one if I get enough likes on this one. So, uh, please let me know what you think. I'd very much like to hear from you. Uh, leave a comment uh, suggesting topics for future videos or if there's anything specific you'd like to see. Um, I very look forward to hear from hearing from you guys and uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.